I'm thinking back to the summer of 2014 when ISIS overran Mosul and the United States, or at least Washington, seemed to be completely taken by surprise. And we all remember that President Obama at the time had, you know, just a couple months earlier sort of dismissed ISIS as the JV, the junior varsity team, and said they were nothing. And then suddenly they overran Mosul. They had $2 billion from the Bank of Mosul. They were able to extort and tax huge populations across Iraq and Syria. And as you see, Say, sell oil. have sell oil, smuggle, you know, basically operate like a state. And since 2014 until now, over these last three years, due to work by the Iraqi government and U.S. backed forces in this giant coalition, you know, they have whittled away the territory that has been controlled, a military and a financial effort. But I want to know, Nancy, what will the U.S. backed Iraqi forces and also those in Syria, who those forces, whoever they are, what will they do with the captured ISIS fighters? I mean, what's next?